Alright beauties, so on today's makeup video, I will be playing with a lot of new makeup. So you guys will be able to see how beautiful this makeup term style. I did use the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palettes and I did use the Huda Beauty foundation stick. Now, this foundation stick is so good, but I just have to say I picked the wrong shade. I didn't like how the foundation color looks on my skin. I made the mistake. It wasn't Huda Beauty. I did the mistake. I did take the 4N15, 415N, and I'm supposed to be 410N neutral, which is brown sugar. So that's the color that I currently use on my foundation uh, photo filter foundation, which is a beautiful color for my skin tone. But I did take this one thinking it might work for my skin tone, but it didn't work for me. It, it was a bit dark for me. And I do have to say, I do like the way this foundation formula, it feels on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. Like, I have to say, it doesn't feel like you got makeup on. You only can feel the powder and then concealer, but the foundation, like, you won't be able to feel it. So that's the reason why I do like this foundation. I do appreciate that she came with a new formula that this foundation doesn't smell at all. It's for that people that have allergies and all of that stuff. Guys, you will be so happy about it. If you do like the foundation filter, the, the first one, you're going to love this one more because this one you can use it on your everyday makeup routine, for work, for any event, when you want to feel your skin very good and you want to feel natural. You don't want to feel like you got makeup on your face. So this is the one that you will need and you guys will see my tutorial. So. So if you guys want to see how I recreate this makeup look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned, and keep on watching. i see you. Alright, so for my lip, I will be start using Shade Tape Concealer in shade Fair Neutral. And I'm going to blend it together with the first color that I applied. Alright, so using Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to be start using this light shade right here all right so applying in the corner and then all the way up this is a new technique that i learned and i want to share that with you guys applying in the corner and then all the way up and this eyeshadow are so pigmented like I mean you guys can see and that will help you to give more dimension into your crease so it's a really good technique so if you want to get a deeper crease you can apply a darker eyeshadow so that way it gets a little bit more deeper so I'm going to use this color right here and I'm going to apply that a little bit lower than the color that I use already See how it gets more deeper and more dark and also it gives you more dimension see that all right guys so I did grab these two products right here this is the master metal manipulator and this is the master metal eyeshadow palette so I'm going to be using this shade right here. This is the one that I like the most. I mean, I like all of them, but like that's the one that caught more my attention. So that's what I got from the palette. And then I'm going to mix it with the manipulator. I feel you need to work with these fast because it does dry it out fast. But I do like that it's so pigmented. I mean, guys, you can see already like how pigmented this is. Mm. 
I mean, that looks so gorgeous. Like, look at that. Her mane looks so gorgeous. Wow. I love this. Going back again with the Master Matte, I'm going to grab the brown shade, this brown right here. And I'm going to dip the end of the eyes. Mixing with the Carbon Black. It's not done yet, so I also got the Master Crystal Reflector Highlighter. So I do grab that because I want to apply that on my eyes as well, but also on my cheeks. So I'm going to use that eyeshadow as an eyeshadow topper. And I did grab this shade right here, which is Quart, I guess. And going to use my finger and I'm going to apply that in here I do want to get the other shade as well because I want to create more eyeshadow look with that all right so let me clean my fingers let me go ahead and do my wing liner and I'm going to use my Stila liquid eyeliner Like I said guys, these are in style moody, so if you want to get this style, don't forget to DM Ariel, and her Instagram is amc underscore lashes on Instagram. Don't forget to get your pair of lashes for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all of that jazz. Alright beauty, so for my skin application, I'm going to be using Too Faced. This is the Plump and Prime Serum. All right, so you before you apply, you have to shake it. Make sure you shake it very well, and then go ahead and apply it on your face. And this going to help your skin to get plump and firm before your moisturizer or primer. So you guys already know my all-time favorite primer, which is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. 
If you know me for more than two, three years, you already know that this is my all-time favorite primer. This is the primer that I like and I use the most because I feel it's the one that I can see different and I can see change on my skin. All right, beauty, so if you are familiar with the full filter foundation, you know that foundation was more thick. It was in a thick formula. It was full coverage. It was amazing. It was like a filter on your skin. So pretty much a lot of people wasn't happy about it. All right, so you guys know a lot of people wasn't happy about that foundation because they feel it was too heavy for their skin it break out their skin and all of that stuff so Huda came out with a new formula just for you for those people that have concern with that type of foundation for my type of skin it was amazing I do I do love full cover foundation you guys already know that I have uh, Juvia's Play foundation that one is full coverage and I do have a uh, Huda Beauty foundation as well so those are my most favorite foundation when I when I want my face look amazing you guys know how beautiful my makeup turns out every time I use those kind of foundation now she came with this one for just for you for those people that doesn't like heavy makeup and they want their skin look natural and glowy so I decided to get this one this is in shade 450N Churros so I do like this shade for me because I feel it's a new neutral undertone so I have a combination so I have a combination type of skin I'm not golden I'm not neutral so I'm in between so that's the reason why I decide this one so I'm going to apply the foundation like this and she claimed with this foundation it's good to apply this foundation with a brush but in my defense, I have foundation brush two, and then I decide just to get it without the brush. But next time I make another purchase, I'm going to order the foundation brush just to see the difference, how it works. Now, I'm blending the foundation on all the areas that I want to apply, so that way, I'm even all right this foundation is pretty close to my skin tone you guys can see on the screen it looks really good and it does look really creamy all right guys so one thing I noticed in this foundation is that I do like that this foundation doesn't have a scent so a lot of people break out because of the scent on that foundation but on me it didn't do anything like that on me it worked really good but if you have like a sensitive skin i do recommend this foundation stick because i feel like you're going to be so happy because this one doesn't have a heavy smell all right so you guys know with huda foundation they oxidize they get a little bit dark after a couple minutes so i don't mind that this foundation get a little bit dark on me i'm currently my shade on Huda Beauty is 410 brown sugar, but I decided to get a darker shade because I want a foundation stick to be a little bit more dark because I want to see if, if, if this shade was better for me. But this is her contour. So you guys are already familiar with this. I'm going to do my contour with this one. This is in shade light. So let's see how this one works on my skin. I feel like it won't be very noticeable on my skin because of the foundation but let me see how this one work I'm going to grab the same brush I did use for my foundation and I'm going to start contour my cheeks all right so if my foundation will be the shade that I'm supposed to get I feel this will be working this will be working because it does look a little bit darker on my skin with this foundation right here so all right so grabbing covergirl concealer this is in shade m500 
Alright, so for my contour, I'm going to be using Tequila Town from Kylie Jenner. You guys already see me using this contour in a couple videos ago, so I do like the way this contour contour my skin. It's kind of like a bronzer and contour. Alright, going back again and grabbing setting powder. With the Beauty Blender, I'm going to cut This is more like a peachy, rosy undertone blush. And it is very pigmented, like I mean you guys can see already. And it does have a little bit of shimmer, so I do like that. You guys already know my all-time highlighter, which is from MAC Whisper of Guild. So I'm going to apply that on my cheeks. So I'm grabbing one more time Quat from Makeup by Mario, which is the glitter eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply that on my cheeks because I want to get the little glowy effect. See that? And I'm going to grab my brush one more time and I'm going to blend it a little bit more. So that way it doesn't look too extreme, but you can see it from far away. All right, so I'm going to grab one more time my brush and I'm going to do the same step I did on the top eye, I'm going to do on the bottom, but just with the matte palette. I'm just going to use the matte palette because I feel already have enough of the glitter. Going to grab the same color I did grab, which is the brown right here, this dark brown right here, the dark brown right here, and then the black. Now for my lip, I'm going to use KKW 2.5. Alright, so 2.5 lip liner and I'm going to use Morphe True Story Liquid Lipstick. This is a brown new liquid lipstick. Alright beauties, thank you for staying until the end of this video. If you did like this makeup look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please help me to get through the 1,000 subscriber. Pretty soon, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Alright beauties, thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I see you until the next video. Bye-bye.